Hey everyone, Eddie Gray here with PipeNook.com. This is part 9 in my 25 part video series of how to smoke a pipe. So in previous videos we did the false light or the charring light. I talked about tamping and now we're ready to relight and hopefully this pipe will be ready to, to go. So we're calling this video the true light and off you go. I will use, I'm going to use a, uh, I'll just use a Bic lighter, just an old standard Bic, most people can get that. Um, I tend to use matches more for the charring light, but for future lights after that and relights, I just use a lighter. Um, reason being, lighters tend to burn a little bit hotter uh, flames than matches. So I like to use those matches for the first light. Um, so I'm not burning my tongue when I'm trying to get it all to, to light up. After that, it's a little bit easier to just use a, a lighter. So here we go. Again, I'm just going to take in very light draws while I'm doing this. You don't want to be sucking it down. You know, um, that's the kind of stuff you want to stay away from. You don't want to, you don't want to um, take in too much air too quickly because it'll be hotter and hotter and hotter. And it gets hot very quick if you're hot boxing like that. You don't want to do that. So here we go. All right. I didn't get that as a super even light. But you can see it's lit up pretty well. Typically I'm not, I don't have my face in the camera while I'm lighting. I'm back off about here. But you can see it's lit pretty well and it did bloom up a little bit more. I don't know if you can tell that. Yeah. So I'll be tamping this down. Just a bit. Typically I will tamp if the pipe is still lit. I will tamp while I'm taking in a light draw. I don't see many people do that, but for me it really helps. Um, I try not to tamp when I'm not drawing if the pipe is still lit because um, that tends to just help the pipe go out more often, at least in my experience. All right, so this pipe is going. Um, so we'll leave it at that for this video. And what's the next video? We're going to come back with part 10 of the video series, and we're going to talk about cadence and temperature control. So come back with us for that, and we'll chat with you soon.